Hello everyone, welcome back to an episode of RuneScape with the updates. Now this one is one I don't normally do, uh, but there are actually, it's mainly I don't do this one because every week there's something going on for either Solomon General Store or for the Treasure Hunter. And I know Treasure Hunter and Solomon is a very sensitive subject at times for some RS goers because they are, uh, you know, your microtransactions, and I know not not a lot of people are big fans of those. So I try. I I want to avoid those as much as possible. Uh, sometimes I'll say about like the Solomon, but that's mostly for cosmetic. A lot of times, Treasure Hunter it has things that are actually, well, the whole thing actually helps you in game. So. If you are a member, currently a member, okay, that's weird. But if you are currently a member, uh, you could take part in a new uh, thing they're going on for this month. Well, not for this month, but for a few days. I'll read it over as this tries to reconnect. But what it is, is they're doing something for Beyond the Arc. Now, not too long ago, they released it so you can actually go into the first set of the eastern lands, the isles in between uh, the eastern lands and Gilinor, the mainland where we're all used to if you're playing the game currently. Now this is all through a, um, <clears throat> I guess you would say it's kind of like a mini game almost. That's called the player room ports. Uh, but what the Beyond the Ark does is starting here within a few minutes actually because it comes out on September 8th okay so it comes out pretty soon because it comes out basically at midnight for them on the UTC so depending on where you are it's coming out right then and it only lasts until the 12th of September at their midnight so depending on well, at UTC midnight so depending on where your time zone is, they do have the in-game one that can tell you where the UTC time is. You can compare that way. But for me, it's in like, you know, 45 minutes of what I'm recording right now. Uh, but what it is, is you, it says here, you will navigate your way around the Wishonko Isles to unlock awesome prizes, including the brand new tier 70 hybrid high armor of Hanto set. And this also has three corresponding weapons. Uh, they are, oh, and the melee weapon is a halberd. And it says a long reach melee halberd. So I don't know if it's any more than the regular or not, but it's what's going on. Now, during this promotion, it says you'll be plotting courses around the Mashenko Isles on a series of special maps, picking up tons of treasure hunter goodies as you go. But you want to visit every island on each of the eight maps to complete a voyage and claim a piece of the high armor of Hanto equipment. Once your equipment, well, once you're back to the beginning, head off again for more pieces and more treasure hunter prizes. Uh, completing eight voyages will net you all pieces of the armor set and its three weapons. So there is a plate body, there is a helmet, and there is a legs, and then there's the three weapons. Uh, it sounds like there's also gloves and boots and two to go with it. Uh, the plate body and the weapons and the plate, oh, I shouldn't say plate body, but the cures, the leg guards, and the three weapons are all augmentable for invention. And if you ask me, like right here, here's a picture of the melee weapon with the armor set. It actually looks pretty cool. It looks kind of like a sinister you know, type of samurai. So if this is the kind of design style you're into, this would definitely be for you. Uh, now it says it can be reclaimed back from the Ango for an increased fee compared to similar items of the same level. So if you do disassemble them, you do get the materials but you do have to buy them back instead of just being able to tame them like normal. So 
I normally wouldn't advertise this like I had said, but the armor does look really good. And it looks like my client froze, so I want to try reloading it. It's like, yes, I'm sure, it froze. <laughs> Why wouldn't I be sure? Um, but yeah, so... Like I said, normally Treasure Hunter, I try to avoid it because it's... <sighs> Alright, so there's something going on. I, I'm going to have to reload it, but... Uh, to get to this, if you're not familiar with it, uh, pretty much you're going to have to have... Well, it doesn't say you have to, but I'm guessing since you have to access the arc, you have to have at least, I believe it was, 90 fishing, um, 90 hunter, or a, maybe 90 divination to access these areas. Well, to access the arc. So keep that in mind. I know I probably messed up. I don't. I don't know if divination is actually one of those. Uh, but I know, oh, 90 Slayer was one, so, like, it, it does require high levels, so if you're not already at this point, you probably won't be very familiar with it, but if you're already at those levels, you're probably pretty familiar with the arc, with the player and ports. So try to get out there as soon as you can, this way you can try to go through and get these pieces of armor. Level 70 hybrid, I mean, it's not that high. A lot of the War Priest is the same level. But it's like I said, it it looks pretty sweet. I mean, if you look at the, you know, the outfit right here in this picture, combined with the weapon, it's a pretty cool looking body, well, uh, armor set. But that'll do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, later guys.